Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a live weather update on Periscope and Twitter. Hopefully we're going on YouTube from what it looks like here we are, but as of right now, I have to double check that here coming up in just a little while. We are watching thunderstorms and the possibility of severe weather in the Mid-South as we go throughout the course of the rest of the morning and into this afternoon. Stay tuned for more. If you can't stick around for the entire forecast, current conditions right here, today's forecast here, and more information from the evening forecast coming up down into the bottom portion of your screen. So if you'd like more information, just stick around for the complete forecast and we get a few things taken care of here on Periscope and let everybody know where we are and what's going on. If you got any questions, concerns about the forecast in and around northern Mississippi, West Tennessee, and eastern Arkansas, that's the area the News Channel 3 weather area covers. More information from our website available right here at wreg.com slash weather for more. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Uh, good news at this time. We're on the air just past 9 o'clock in the morning, and as of right now, the best news of all is that most of the News Channel 3 viewing area has been lifted just a few seconds ago out of the severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect for portions of the area now in effect for the far west uh, far western parts of middle tennessee and back into eastern parts of the news channel 3 viewing area at this time but most of the watch has been canceled so definitely good news on that uh, again for the pri for the present time things are decently quiet but we may see some more problems coming our way as we get into later on tonight so please keep that in mind if you have any outdoor plans out there if you can't stick around for the forecast. Here's what it looks like again throughout the rest of the day today. Mostly cloudy, breezy. The winds in the red bar that you see up there, southwest winds for the most part at about 10 to 12 miles per hour throughout the course of the rest of the day today. And looking at mainly cloudy skies out there, the chances of showers and thunderstorms are not really all that great. We are seeing again about maybe a 20% coverage chance out there throughout about the rest of the morning into early this afternoon. The chances of showers and thunderstorms are going to be upping and getting a lot more potential for them coming up later on this afternoon and into this evening. So through the rest of the day, pop-up showers and thunderstorms, yes, into later on tonight. That's where we see again that potential for more severe weather coming our way. We'll detail that coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned uh, for more on that. Let's take a look at the rest of the forecast. Let's go ahead and run the numbers for you and show you what we've got going on again throughout the course of the rest of the day today. More chances of these leftover showers and thunderstorms taking place into and around West Tennessee as we get into the rest of the morning and into early this afternoon. So if you're traveling between, say, Jackson, Shiloh, into around the area of Nashville, that's where we're going to be seeing the worst of the worst possibility for thunderstorms coming up later on this morning. Now into the rest of the afternoon and into this evening, we will be looking for, again, more of this activity popping up throughout much of the rest of the area. And that could be, again, the possibility of just pop-up showers and thunderstorms. The thunderstorms develop they drift, they collapse, they start back over again. That's what we're going to be seeing into the course of the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, this is what we're going to be looking for. It's also going to be very warm and very muggy out there as we see temperatures back into around the mid to upper 80s to right around the lower 90s. If we get enough sunshine, very toasty conditions across much of the Mid-South for later on today. Temperatures remain mild through dinner time tonight and right around News Channel 3 at 10 through about midnight. That's when that large squall line begins to make its way on through the area so that by the time we get into around very early tomorrow morning we see again that potential of more showers and thunderstorms out there daybreak tomorrow another round of showers and thunderstorms comes on through and then more potential for more showers and thunderstorms as we get into the rest of sunday it looks like again most of the activity should be tomorrow afternoon into early evening but we could see again the potential for more of this activity taking place into the course of the rest of the next several days possibility toward the end of the week. That'll be our next best chance of anything involving showers or thunderstorms coming on through, but most of the activity at this time is going to be again for later on today into, it looks like, later on tonight. Now from the Storm Prediction Center, the area that you see shaded in red, that's a moderate threat risk. Again, that's going to be the highest risk that we see for the potential of severe weather into later on today. It's going to be limited mainly to around the Missouri River Valley into around St. Louis, Springfield, south of 
of Kansas City. That'll be the best threat for severe weather into later on today, especially later on tonight as the thunderstorms get heated up and developed by the atmosphere. What we're going to be seeing into our area is going to be, again, less of a threat taking place. You notice the orange or enhanced area and yellow slight. The farther south you go, the brighter the colors get and the less of a threat develops where it comes to severe weather. But here's the thing. It is still going to be the possibility of severe weather in these locations. Does that mean you should panic? Does that mean you should start digging a tornado shelter right now? No. What it means is that you need to be prepared and know what to do before something happens. The main threat from this is going to be damaging winds and large hail. We cannot rule out the possibility of isolated tornadoes. Know what to do or where to go before the warning is issued and you're going to be much better off. No need for pan never a time for panic. Always a time for preparation and planning. That's going to be your best bet in situations like this. So if a tornado warning is issued, first of all, know your county. Know where you're going to need to go if something is issued for your county. If you don't know which county you're in, find out because that's how the National Weather Service issues that information on a county-by-county -county basis with those polygons out there. This is a severe thunderstorm, severe weather forecast. We do not have anything immediate in the way of severe weather occurring right now. Will we have later on? According to this, it's a definite possibility, so you need to be ready for that. Knowing what needs to be done beforehand, that's going to help you when it comes to the real thing. When the tornado warning is issued, you know, okay, I'm at work. I go here into this bathroom or this closet or this storage area. That's going to be the safest place. If it's home, I know to go to the basement or the interior section. If you're at church or your place of worship, wherever you go to for that, uh, interior structure, small structure, interior space, away from exterior windows, things like that. Nowhere to go to. Plan ahead for stuff like this. This this right here, this forecast, you may have seen it said many times over that the storm struck without warning. That's really not the case anymore. You really can't say that because this right here from the Storm Prediction Center, this forecast we bring you and the stuff that you can get online from NOAA and the National Weather Service, this is your distant early warning. This is the forecast that can let you know today is the possibility of seeing the severe weather out there. So take this seriously. Not a time to panic, just a time to plan and prepare to see what's going on across much of the Mid-South area, getting some more warnings taking place, some more information coming down there. We'll take a look at that a little bit later on. Sunday, again, the possibility of severe weather for all of the Mid-South. We have a slight risk category taking place for most of the area. We continue again to see that threat diminished, but still possible into Sunday. And then as we get into Monday, the threat is way down to our south and to our east. Jackson, Atlanta, Raleigh, back toward Washington, D.C. That's going to be the severe threat on Monday as the possibility of showers and thunderstorms clear the Mid-South. Rest of the day today, your forecast numbers back in the mid to upper 80s. Very warm, very muggy, occasionally breezy. Better chances of showers and thunderstorms as we get into this afternoon and this evening, especially later on tonight. So as we get into around the area close to News Channel 3 at 10, that squall line, that large possibility of thunderstorms dropping into the Mid-South, that's what we're going to be watching there. Rest of the day tomorrow, mid 80s or so, and we see again that potential for more showers and thunderstorms storms taking place as we get into the rest of the day tomorrow so the umbrella will be necessary graduations outdoors tomorrow may want to think about going ahead and moving them indoors if at all possible and then memorial day the good news at this time no threat for severe weather and the chances of showers and thunderstorms yes we will be looking at some activity coming our way we may see early in the morning the possibility of about a 30 percent coverage chance but that is really going to be about it and then for the rest of the week doing okay we see again less chance chances of anything Monday, Tuesday into early Wednesday, but then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday we see more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming our way. Not a great deal, but we will be watching that nonetheless, so keep up to date there. Keep up to date with what's going on with the weather via our weather app. Whatever platform you've got, go to your app store and search WREG Weather and download this and keep up to date with what's going on in the Mid-South. Keep up to date with what's going on with the weather. I'll be on bright and early on Tuesday morning with Bob and Josh on AM 730 on Yahoo Sports Radio. Radio, and throughout the rest of the weekend, we'll have your forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 and on all the rest of my social media network channels. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, especially tonight. If there is a threat of severe weather, if there is any weather warnings, we will break in and let you know about, more about that. Flash Memphis, good morning and welcome to the show. Thanks for stopping on by. Rest of the forecast, again, here we'll see again the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms uh, into the the rest of the day today. 
we'll be watching very carefully, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online. Again, WRHG.com slash weather for more. And also, into especially later on tonight, past News Channel 3 at 10, myself and Tim Simpson will be watching into the overnight hours to keep you informed as to what's going on. So definitely want to stay tuned for more. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for the latest weather update on our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the day.